Focus that. What's up, guys? You're watching Kelpie Temple Women Vlogs and Tech. Today, we are doing a review of the Camify Live app. This is a app that I'm going to start using to live stream. Today, I'm going to take you through a walkthrough of this app, give you the pros and cons of this app. Guys, let's get started. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Alright, so basically, I've presumed that you've downloaded this from your app store to download it onto your phone. Now, basically, what you want to do is when first off you open the app, uh, you're going to be taken to this screen. You're going to be prompted before you get to this screen. You're going to be prompted to sign in. So you sign into with your YouTube, Facebook, or YouTube account, or whatever. When you're done, you select what service you would like to live stream. Then you can select between camera and screen capture wizard, which is in the beta test uh, at the moment. So basically, guys, we're going to click on start. Now, this automatically does not start the live stream. So first of all, looking at your options here, you've got the YouTube uh, logo there. You've got your channel. Obviously, if you click this, you can change different channels. Swipe to the left, you've got video. You can turn on your camera, so you can clearly turn on your camera. Or you can turn off the camera. Um... So, the camera's off, so you can do any of that. You can also turn on the audio here, and you can also turn off the audio, so there's no audio. If you swipe towards the right, you've got some stuff, including you've got image, text, filter, plugin, and theme. Now, for image, you do need to pay a monthly or annually fee. It is quite extensive, extensive, expensive, but it is still good. Basically, what it does, it does remove the watermark. It also allows you to add images and text. Now, you can also add filters. So, you can add different filters, and you can see here. Let me put an object in front of here. So, you can clearly see we are... Changing the filters like a blur filter, you can change 360 camera. There is a lot of filters, and even if you upgrade, there is more filters. Plugin, you can also do a chat overlay. So basically, along this side, um, you will see chat. Let me switch off the camera here, and then so that's that. Click on the settings, you've got some more information within your server settings. You're obviously streaming to YouTube, you've got your channel, which mine's Caleb Templeman Vlogs and Deck, you've got your title. Now I recommend uh, going onto your computer, because once you click on the create button, you're able to edit the description and tag and stuff, so I do recommend going into a computer and editing that stuff on your live events. You've also got your broadcast policy, privacy, private, unlisted, or public. 360 live stream, stream settings, you've either got 480, which is standard definition, or 720, which is high definition. Also, if you upgrade, um, it will give you standard full definition, and you're able to stream at 1080p. Auto focus, either you can either choose it to be on or manual, and you've got all of your other information here. So now, when you're ready to live stream, all you simply need to do is you need to simply click on ready and then you've got some options here so basically now what you need to do is you can see you've got Kelby Templeman test we are going to leave it on private for this tutorial and we're gonna put it to 720p now we're gonna simply click on create and now it is creating the broadcast and you can see here you've got your chat so you can see the chat you've also got a drawing feature here where you have the ability to draw over the text which is good you've also got a ability to swap from the front rear front facing camera to the rear facing camera which is also great and when you want to simply start live streaming you simply click on the go button and you can see here broadcast starting and it's preparing for the live broadcast it may take a few minutes 
And you can see here now I'm live, private to me. You guys can see we can zoom in. Well, that's on the draw feature at the moment. But yeah, we can zoom in. We can zoom out. We can do all of that. You want to end your broadcast, you simply click on the end button. And you want to close broadcast, and click OK. And now it's closing the broadcast. And you've got your results. You can share it if you want. I'll just decline it there. Yeah, so that is basically it. And then that is basically how you use it. And then, um, if you go to your video manager, which I'll go to now. Go to my video manager here. And, um, the video will show up in your video manager shortly. It's not going to show up straight away, but the video will show up in your video manager shortly. Hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. I will see you on the next video. Have a great day.